Welcome to Electron Line. Here's our second example of how to find the general solution to a second order linear differential equation. And it's homogeneous because it's equal to zero by using the characteristic equation. Again, this equation presumably will have two real distinct roots and it becomes more of an algebraic exercise than it becomes an exercise in differential equations. Because what we're going to do is first get the characteristic equation. So this becomes 6r squared minus 7r minus 20 is equal to 0. And now we have to find the two distinct roots by solving this quadratic equation. Hmm. Well, let's see here. When it's something that looks like this and we have a coefficient in front of the r squared term, it becomes a little bit more difficult. But we can use a technique that says that if I divide this into two middle terms, I'm going to spread this out, 6r squared and minus 20 equals 0, and I'm going to rewrite the middle term as the sum of two middle terms. And the coefficients of those can be found by saying that the product will be equal to the product of these two, which is 6 times minus 20, which is minus 120. So whatever the two coefficients are, when you multiply, you get minus 120. And the sum has to be equal to minus 7. Well, let's see here. The difference is 7. And when you multiply, you get 120. And I believe the two might be, let's see, minus 15 times plus 8. When you add them together, you get minus 7. When you multiply them together, you get minus 120. So those are the correct two coefficients, which come up here. So this can be written as uh, plus 8r minus 15r. So again, if I add these two together, I get back to minus 7r. But this makes it easier to find the two roots because I can go ahead and group them in groups of two, factor out a 2r here, and I'm left with a 3r plus 4. Four, and here I can pull out a minus 5 and I'm left with a 3r plus 4. And then of course you can see that you can factor out a 3r plus 4 which gives us 3r plus 4 times what's left which is a 2r minus 5 equals 0. So now we have the case where we have a product of two things multiplied together giving me 0 which means that 3r plus 4 must equal 0, or 2r minus 5 must equal 0. In this case, we have 3r equals negative 4, or r1, that's going to be the first root, is going to be minus 4 over 3. The second root can be found over here by saying 2r is equal to 5, and therefore the second root, r2, is equal to 5 over 2. Now that I have my two roots, I can go ahead and get my general equation. My general solution to this differential equation is y, and let's say that the function of t is equal to c1 e to the root 1 times t plus c2 e to the root 2 times t, where r1 and r2 are, of course, the roots to our characteristic equation. Since we know what they are, we can then say that the general solution is equal to c1 times e to the minus 4 thirds t plus c2 e to the positive 5 over 2 t. And this is then the general solution to our differential equation. So you can see that when you have a second order linear homogeneous differential equation like this with constant coefficients. All we have to do is find the characteristic equation, solve it algebraically, whatever method you like, and then go ahead and plug those roots in to our general solution. And that's how it's done when we have two real distinct roots in our characteristic equation.